Okay, we're going to do the EFB configuration for the ramps for power output. So the first step that we need to do is actually secure these down. So you're going to slide that up. Tighten it down. Now there's no plus minus for this, so you don't have to worry about wiring it incorrectly. So you're just going to use the first and second for D10. So that's secure. Now for the thermistor, we're going to put that on T0. Next we're going to do the fan. Now this one we're going to pay attention to with the plus and the minus. So we're going to do the red on plus. And do the black on minus, which is going to be on top in this case, for D9. And then we're going to do the heat bed, which is going to go on D8 and polarity of the wires doesn't matter. We're going to connect the thermistor to T1. Now the actual pin plus minus you don't have to worry about in this case as well. And so in the next portion of the video I'll show you the actual configuration in the Marlin firmware. Okay, we're in the extracted Marlin firmware folder. I'm going to open up the Marlin folder. We're going to find the Marlin dot i n o we're going to open that up we're going to go to the configuration dot h tab we're going to search on motherboard We're going to check our configuration. It says boards underscore ramps underscore one four underscore EFB. So it looks like we have the configuration that we configured previously. So we're going to search on a couple of other things here just to make sure we're good. Looks like the extruder is set to one, which we only have one extruder. We're not going to configure these at the moment. And now we're at thermal settings. So this is where your thermistor is used to judge the electricity or heat that is generated by your configuration. So you'll have to consult which type of manufacturer you're actually using. But uh, here is the configuration I'm currently using, which is number eight. So we're gonna scroll down and right here we have our settings. We have temp sensor zero, which is set to one currently. We have temp sensor 
1, which is set to 0, which means there is no thermistor there. Then we have temp sensor 2 set to 0, which is the same as temp sensor 1. Temp sensor 3 is the same as well as temp sensor 4. Then we have temp sensor bed, which is our heat bed. So we're going to change temp sensor 0 to 8 for our thermistor type. And we're going to change temp sensor bed to 8. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we have thermal protections enabled. So we're going to search on thermal protection. Okay. So it says thermal protection hot ends. That is enabled because it's not commented out as well as thermal protection for the heat bed. So this should prevent an overheat situation. Always be in the same room with your printer while it's operating so you can see if there's an issue and uh, take appropriate action. So the next thing we want to do is connect the USB serial cable that's connected to the Adreno 2560. We want to check to see that we have the right COM port, which we do. And we're going to compile and upload. And then in the next portion, I'll show you how we actually test it with the Pronter Face software. So here we go. Okay, as you can see, I propped up each one of the uh, connections that we made. The D10 here the D9 for the fan and the heat bed here. I'm going to plug in the power. And then I'm going to plug in the power supply. In the next portion, I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like in Pronterface. Okay, we're going to open up Pronterface. We're going to hit the connect button. We've adjusted the uh, temperature down from its normal uh, defaults to 75 for the heat end or the extruder as some people call it. And for the bed, we're going to set that down to 30 so that uh, we don't make things too hot. It's normally 60 and the uh, hot end is usually about 210 or in my case 185 degrees Celsius. So we're going to set the temperature for the hot end first. Now as you can tell over here, here is the expected temperature at the very top. You'll see this uh, start to rise for EX0. Now we'll do the same for the bed. Now the bed has a temperature that's set to 30 so it's going to start to rise in a moment. So, if you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe, and thank you for your time.